Hi there, and welcome back to my Allen Bradley PLC test bench. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble and disassemble the 1794 Flex I.O. system. It's a very simple system, and when I buy stuff, I generally buy a lot of used and, and experienced equipment. And a lot of these bases I'm getting are, are broken. Now, they're broken because the people taking them apart don't know how to do it properly. And it's very simple. So, we'll just swing around here, get set up, and show you how to do it. And uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So, here we are with our system. We've got, and this is pretty standard, an AENT for communication. We've got a OB16, which is a 16-point, 10 to 30 volt output module on a TB3 base, and an IB32 on a TB32 base. Now, here's our, our modules. Everything's put together, and like I say, I've got it on a board here. So we flip it up this way. Now, to remove these modules, we'll start with the OB16. You flip that up, and you can hear it click there. I'll just reseat it. And you can also see at the same time when we did that, it sort of bounced up a little bit. Now, these things are designed to be in there good and solid. And you can see here, this right here is a slot. And here's our, our lock. Here's our module. Now, this key fits into this slot and it won't go anywhere else. The other thing you'll notice is at the bottom these are keyed also to this. There's a number two there, there's a number two there. If this is in any other spot and it only turns in one direction it won't fit. So we take it and we get it in there and, ver and with preferably two fingers or your entire hand, push it in until it seats and this clip comes down to secure it. Any TB32, exactly the same way. And you have to, you know, if you've got modules all around it, you have to get it this way. And yes, it will be a little difficult. So we take our modules out. And you can see they, they don't come out perfectly simple, but they come out. So now we want to remove our bases. We're in, say we're in a salvage situation. So the first thing you want to do is take a screwdriver and very carefully just sort of lever this over until it is unplugged from this one. And then the same on this one. You get in there and very carefully, not don't use a lot of force. There, you see how that came apart. So now we've got our modules are all separate. And we want to remove them from, from the base, which is our standard DIN base. At the front, you see this little hook here. Again, you take your flat screwdriver very lightly lift it up and then reach it to the back and just push your push this over to make sure that it's not jammed against anything this little hook here which you can see right there the end of my finger is broken off on so many modules because people just try and rip them apart again on this one same thing, put your screwdriver in and very carefully, very lightly, just lift, bring it forward. The base will lift up, and if this isn't back all the way, you may have to, you know, move it around a little bit. And on our AENT, because now that's the end of the line, exactly the same thing. So, to put it back together, you have, right here, 
is where this fits onto this edge and then this is the clip. So you bring it in and position it and bring that forward and you heard how it clicked. Take our next module and push that in with your finger or sometimes you have to hold it so that you get the two of them right tight snug together. And you continue putting on as many modules as you want. In this case we'll just put the two. And again, you see the little the little hook fits in that hole. Then in straight down. Always check them. Because sometimes they don't go together until you put a little bit of force into it. Now, we'll just turn it this way. Take your screwdriver. Very carefully push that in. Don't force it. Don't jam it. Don't hit it. Just slide it in. Now, you see how this one, it had to move a little bit to be able to get in there. Don't be alarmed. That's just the way this system, this plastic system is put together by and designed by Alan Bradley. Rockwell Automation. Again, take your modules. Check what they are. This is our 16-point module. This is our 16-point TB3 base. We've taken flipped them around from original. Get it in there. It fits. And it, that once that clip the back is closed, you know that it's in there properly. And take our 32 point. Same thing. Take your time. Put it in. You can hear how it clicked there. There it is. It should push it down so this clips. So there you go. It's, like I say, very simple system. If you were mounting this in a, in a cabinet or a back plane, you would have a, a stopper at this end and a stopper at this end. And you'd make sure everything is good and tight together. Generally, people use the, uh, the ground lugs on either side. It gives it that mechanical advantage. Thanks for luck for watching uh, my short video here, and uh, hopefully this answers all the questions you have about the removing and installing the 1794 Flex IO basis and modules. Hopefully uh, it's not a three-month period before my next video. Thank you.